Ever wonder what happens to your movie when you pop the red envelope back in the mail? Maybe we can't make movies time travel back to headquarters, but we come pretty close. Every day in the very early morning, the mail shows up with thousands of movies that were recently returned. In the early days, people used to sort through the discs looking for cracks or scratches by hand. But that all changed in 2010 when DVD Netflix invested in the arm. The arm drove efficiency and accuracy instead of the variability of different humans checking the discs. Meet the Bronway ARRM 3600. ARRM stands for Automated Rental Return Machine. The arms were designed exclusively for DVD Netflix to handle bulk returns, and at first, there was a bit of a learning curve. The automated rental return machine was just an order of magnitude more complicated. We introduced a lot of procedures and, and maintenance documents. Let's face it, the, the rental return machine is cool. It's, you know, it's fun even to watch. The team here were ready to learn and people were excited to get a chance to work on it. So what does the arm actually do? A better question might be, what doesn't it do? The arm slices the return envelope in half and chucks the cut half into recycling. It weighs the envelopes to check for doubles. A fraction of an ounce above the normal weight means a customer returned two discs in one envelope. It checks the position of the disc because these days you can return it any way you like. It takes the disc out, it cleans the disc with alcohol and dries it with a blasting fan. It checks for cracks and scratches. Then, if everything is okay, it sorts the disc by zip code and puts it into a new sleeve if necessary. The arm had a huge impact on DVD Netflix's ability to deliver the right disc to customers a lot faster. The impact of the rental return machines from the customer's point of view was, was enormous. At the time, we were really under pressure to be able to get the mail into the post office in time every day. And by automating such a major part of the process, the chance of a customer receiving the disc the next day went up thanks to the rental return machine. These days, the chances of a customer getting the wrong disc in the mail are about as good as your chances of winning the lottery. That's because four barcodes are used to scan and track each disc carefully as it moves through the system. So this one here, this is how we do our address print. Then when it's returned, this is the barcode or PostNet barcode that's used by the post office for the advanced returns. So that means now we can ship them a disc that day. The barcodes don't have to be placed in any specific way. Just get your movie in the mail by five and the return magically happens. With a little help from the post office. DVDs have been eaten by dogs, ravaged by fires, and lived to see another day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for 20 years of red envelopes. <laughs>